Well, the circumstances for the employment of a nuclear submarine or its weapons may actually never come to pass. But it's the very idea that a country has a nuclear submarine that is the weapon itself. Brahma Chalani, in terms of power projection, in terms of that kind of, in that kind of gauge, this definitely pushes India up a few notches, doesn't it? I'm talking about when the, when the submarine is in operation. Well, the problem is that um, the so-called Sagarika program to develop an SLBM will have a range of only 700 to 750 kilometers. It will further underpin the regional character of India's nuclear deterrent. Now, if you look at these critical technologies, nuclear propulsion, SLBM, ICBM, the most difficult are nuclear propulsion and SLBM. Firing from underwater is an extremely complex and difficult technology. The easiest technology is certainly to fire from land. ICBM capability is the easiest. But even today, 30 years after China developed its first ICBM, we did not have an ICBM project even on paper. So if we deploy a nuclear ballistic missile sub, we'll be the first country in history to go down that route without going through the ICBM stage. So this is remarkable. They were taking the more complex, more challenging route. Right. Respond to that, Admiral Puri. We're putting a submarine out to sea. Brahma says we're putting a submarine out to sea, probably the first country in history to put a boomer out to sea without the boom in it. We don't have an ICBM program on paper, let alone having a, an, a submarine-launched ballistic missile, which is precisely what gives a, a nuclear submarine its power. How are we going to achieve what we need for the real power projection? What is it? how you define power projection? If power projection means intervention, then I suppose it's a different type of power projection. Um, as far as we are concerned, I think it's a, we have to master the technologies of underwater launch. And in the submarine program that has gone along, as Brahma said, this is a difficult technology to master. We have mastered it on a 750 kilometer program. Let me try and tie you down to a number. By when do you think we will have a fully operational submarine, a nuclear submarine fleet, sir? Well, I suppose with a 750 kilometer missile, it shouldn't be more than two to three years from today after it is launched. All right. Closing comments, uh, Brahma Chalani. In, people say in 10 years we will have a fully operational fleet of nuclear submarines. Do you think that will happen? And in those 10 years, do you think what has not been on paper will get onto paper and then be seen in real life as well? We have the talent, we have the capability. What we often lack is the right kind of determined leadership. If you have a determined uh, leadership willing to pursue goals without uh, any, any you know, wavering, then we can certainly get a nuclear deterrent posture in place with second strike capability. But if we're going to be amenable to external pressures, if we're going to try and cap our nuclear deterrent capability at the regional level so as to please right. uh, some major power, then of course it will be an endless process of building a credible minimal nuclear deterrent. That's still, that's still an optimistic way to end this show. You heard what Brahma Chalani said. Admiral Puri says, we have the capability. Brahma Chalani says, we have the talent and the capability. We just need the perseverance to see things ahead. It's been 25 years since the advanced technology vessel uh, came to light. And now it's going to become something real this weekend. It's going to be launched. It's going to probably be seen in the flesh for the first time by an entire nation. And headlines today, of course, will be there. Thanks very much for watching this special report on headlines today.